All right, I got home just in time for it to start raining. Feels good to be back home. I have been on the road, feels like all day, but went and picked up a nice bench seat, actually in pretty good shape for the Skylark. Got a rear seat there, got a front bumper, windshield trim, mirror. We are in business. This car is going to look complete. I might, uh, they make some pretty good like dye or spray to uh, redo these, so I might do this black. Or I might just throw a cover over it and call it good enough. But either way, got the bench seat, so we are in business. But today, this thing's back in the shop. I don't know how many of you guys remember this. We built the turbo kit for this uh, four months ago, give or take. I don't know, sometime late last year. And uh, he basically said, this is what I've got. Do what you can with it. And this is what I came up with. So kind of a snuffleupagus of piping here, but it seems to work pretty well. They said uh, it made 12 pounds pretty quickly on the on the brake. So overall, seems to be working pretty well. But the downpipe here is not much pipe. Very down though, it fits that part. Uh, like I said, this was just working with leftover parts that he had laying around. Um, so this is what I came up with and it worked pretty well. It got him by for the rest of that year. And now he wants to redo it. So we've got some stainless here that we're going to make a bullhorn come out of the bumper here. He's already got this, that is a three and a half inch hole. And this, a little bit bigger, this is five inch pipe. So we're gonna need like a, a five and a half inch hole, roughly, which, come to think of it, he's got this. Okay. That's my bad. I should have said something when they were here, but five inch pipe, five inch hole saw. Okay. So, so we'll probably end up using this as a template and then like uh, either a body saw or something. Cause I don't know. We'll figure something out to make that work. But we need to enlarge this guy there. And then once the downpipe is made, and we got this big ass pipe right there, looking like a goddamn pro mod. Uh, I gotta play with the tune, cause this thing has virtually no tune in it at all. Yeah, this thing has more or less just the beginner tune from when you set up the holly and go through the wizard. So it starts kind of like ass and uh, there's like no boost builder strategy in it at all. I don't know if this thing will fire up. It's really cold out. I'm not even going to try actually. I just need to get to work on it because last couple days I've been busy with other stuff. Uh, and then as soon as we are done with this, I don't know how much work I'm going to be able to do on the Skylark because we've got another project right on the other side of that door that's got to get in here and it's going to take up this whole space. I'm excited to get to work on that. And I think you guys will be into it too. Something a little different than our basic Turbo LS streetcar stuff. So I'm gonna get this thing pushed ahead, get uh, that downpipe ripped off of it, and start figuring out how to gape that bumper out. Alright, so I don't know if you guys know this, but 5 inch exhaust pipe is pretty hard to fit anywhere. But, we got it. This is what we're working with. Now I initially was going to completely remake it. 5 inch exhaust pipe is too big for my chop saw, so I can't do pie cuts or anything like that. I can go like uh, 3 quarters of the way through and then I have to pull it off and cut it the rest of the way with um, my cutoff wheel. 
And for making pie cuts, if you've ever made pie cuts, you know that that will just lead to days of trying to get those things to line up perfectly. Because pie cuts, you have to have those edges perfectly straight or you're screwed. So what I opted to do was we're going to reuse this little aluminum section and uh, that has a V-band at the end and then I can make the rest of this out of the stainless. God, that pipe is freaking massive. Let me show you guys. Just for reference, this is part of the elbow. Now I'm ready to drop the people's elbow on someone. So yeah, that is uh, how we're looking. I'm going to try, I wish I had the MIG welder here just to do some tacks, but I might be able to get uh, one tack right there with the TIG welder and then pull it off and bench weld everything. We will see. And then there is his bullhorn sticking way out of it, uh, far enough away from the body so that it shouldn't mess with the paint and it should clear, I hope it clears the tire. Let's check that. Oh, we might be into it. Might have to angle it up a skosh. No, no, we're not into it. We're hitting something though. It did not want to turn anymore. Oh. That's what we were hitting. Anyway, yeah. It'll clear the exhaust. Yeah, we got tons of room there, so that's good. I think I'm going to just pull this thing off and start welding it up. That little uh, Dremel for the exhaust hole worked pretty well. Kind of tighter than I would like, that's what she said. But it should be pretty good. All right, holy F, did this become a hassle. Now, I just want to, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but he just put a new tubular K-member, tubular lower control arms, tubular upper control arms, new uh, struts on it, and the thing is significantly lower than the last time you saw it, but it has not been aligned yet. So you can kind of see an issue there. Big gap, no gap. So, um, again, I can't remember if I mentioned it because I've just been nose to the grindstone, Five inch pipe is too big for my chop saw. So pie cuts were out of the question and I didn't have any tight radius bends. So I reused the aluminum section here cause it had kind of what I needed where it was pie cuts going down and then kind of curved this way a little bit. Uh, modified it a skosh and uh, then was able to make the rest work. But uh, five inch pipe is so annoying to work with. I wish I had tried harder to talk him into going to four and then we could have stepped it up to a five inch elbow out the bumper. <clears throat> anyway, this wheel was hitting the front of the bumper much like the other side was. You'll notice this wheel is now centered. That was a lot of fun to deal with. That was literally two hours to move that thing back inch and a half, two inches, eh, about two inches. Oh my God. <laughs> and when I first built it, the wheel hit the pipe and I was like, ah, oh, crap. I mean, I can like section the pipe. Uh, cause I mean, it's five inch on a six O even if I did a, a small section, it would still have huge cross sectional area, probably more than a four inch pipe. Um, so I was going to do that, and then I was like, no, let me move this wheel back and uh, try and make this work. And now, at very full lock, it just it just barely touches. I could just think about dinging it, and it would have room. But the thing that's funny about this, or odd, or whatever you want to say, is this thing, full lock left, has more steering angle than full lock to the right. This car is kind of an anomaly, but... We're going to take the win when we get it. Uh, and he did also say he was thinking about running, I mean, the front needs to come up at least an inch. Uh, and he said he was thinking about running, uh, these are 17s, thinking about switching to 15s and a little bit shorter tire, so that would help tremendously too. If he went with even a quarter inch shorter tire, it would clear no problem at all. So that's where we're at now. Um, so now I'm going to see if I can throw the laptop on this thing, get it fired up and 
try to get this thing to start a little bit better. Maybe put in some sort of a, a boost builder strategy. Although, I don't think that they have the two-step wired up. So, it's just whatever the trans rate gets up to right now. But they were able to make, they said, 12 pounds pretty quickly last time. So, I don't think it needs a whole lot. But, just need to clean it up and see what we can do. So that's what I'm gonna do now and try and get this thing done and out of here. The idle air fuel is perfect. Still gotta clean things up a little bit though. And for some reason, it starts really hard. All right, well, never a dull moment around here. Got this thing idling perfect. Air fuel ratio was amazing. Uh, nice and steady with the extended pipe because the uh, O2 sensor was kind of close to the old pipe, so that was all great. Got the RPM perfectly in sync with what the tune is reading. So sometimes you can command, like, let's say 900, and the uh, set screw down here will be off, so it won't be able to go that lower, won't be able to get that high. But we had that great, put it on the trans brake, <laughs> immediately started puffing white smoke, lifting a head gasket. So, not great, but they can fix it and it still starts kind of not great. Also, pops over here, fixing a fuel line leak on Jack, trying to get that thing sorted. Anyway, once that's fixed, we can play with the tune some more, then we got to get this whole thing in here. Yeah, so the next thing we got on the to-do list is this whole thing. This is, I don't remember what year he said, 70s F350 ramp truck. Uh, is it really a ramp truck or is it a flatbed? But this has, uh, I believe he said a Ford 400, one of the least desirable motors Ford made. Um, and we are swapping in it this 8.1. But people like to affectionately call the big block LS and uh, a 4L80. Yeah, this thing's this thing's cool. So, like I said, we got to get this thing in the shop, get the old motor and transmission out. Got to fix the striker. Oh no, it's good. I just have to slam it like a man. Uh, yeah, so we got to get this thing in the shop, get the uh, 400 and whatever transmissions in this thing, get them out of here, and. I might pull the hood and fenders and everything off of this just to make it easier and so I don't ding them up or anything. Might leave them on, who knows. Yep, so coming up, I'm gonna get started on that thing and that should be a riot, that thing's really cool. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, clicking the bell, get the notifications, and I'll see you next time.